Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have another type of video for you guys and I will be actually reviewing some cheap makeup brushes. Um, I already have a video on some eBay and Amazon cheap affordable makeup brushes uh, on my channel already and you guys really seem to like it and I'll link it in the info box if you want to check that out but I'm all up for cheap brushes because I know not all of us have the money to buy like £30 or £40 makeup brushes. I know there's a lot of like affordable brushes now but these are like on another cheap level like these are really eBay Amazon brushes. Now the brushes that I will be talking about today are these Isabella Phantom brushes. I've obviously used them because I've used them to apply my makeup on today and I'm just basically going to show you how I use them and what I think of each and every one of them. Now just a disclaimer, these were sent to me. I hope you guys don't have a problem with that. I haven't really talked about this on my channel but whether I get sent stuff or whether I get paid for video or whether I don't get paid for video, my opinion will always be true and genuine. Like many YouTubers out there, my channel is really important to me and I always look to give my true and honest opinion. So yeah, whether I'm paid or not in the future, I haven't really done a paid video yet. I, I mean, I to be honest, I do get like these emails where people want me to like promote their brand or whatever, but I really don't like the fact that these brands tell me what I have to say like they literally say step one you have to say this, step two you have to say that and I really don't agree with that and I literally just don't even reply to them because it's, ri it's ridiculous like if you want me to review your products that's fine but I need to have the freedom to give my honest opinion and yeah just be true with you guys like it's not it's not genuine so I don't see the point of doing it so I just want to let you guys know that you can trust me completely I'm always going to be honest on my channel now the reason why I accepted this because I really am into like cheap affordable makeup brushes and I thought this would be a really great video for you guys so that some of you that don't really want to like spend so much on brushes and just like spend little on them you can just get this brush set so yeah I really hope that you will like this video so basically in this brush set you get nine brushes in total you basically get four uh, face brushes and four kind of like eye lip brushes well the smaller brushes so let me just jump straight into the price of this set you can get this if you live in the UK you can get this on wish for 17 pounds for the whole set and they look amazing. I mean, for £17 for this whole set. And um, you can get them for like, around $30 on like Amazon for like US and all that. I will leave links to how you can get them in the info box. But I really think that that's a really good price for all these brushes. So as you can see, the packaging is really, really pretty. It has like the logo Isabella Phantom. It's like the name of the brand of this brush set. And it just basically have these has these gold barrels and a gold tip and the the basic wood bit is like black. And the brushes are so damn soft. I have to specify this. They're so soft. Like and the shedding isn't even the bad. Like you can get a little bit of shedding, which is kind of acceptable with these type of brushes like from eBay and Amazon. Like I have so many eBay and Amazon brushes and some of them kind of shed, but these ones do the same thing, but it's not as much. Like the shedding is very minimal. Like a strand comes out here and there, which I don't really care about. I don't care, but just to let you guys know, it does kind of shed, but I don't really mind. The brushes are still so soft. So when you buy it, it comes in this like box right here. And on the box, it just says what, each brushes but I just used it for I wanted to use them for but you can always refer to like the um, instructions on the back it just basically says brush number one which is this one is good for a powder brush apply with powder but I actually used it for bronzer and setting my concealer so just for an example you can refer to it but I don't really care like I just use brushes for anything that I feel like it can be useful for so the first brush that I used is brush number five and it says on the box that it's supposed to be an eyeshadow blending brush which I actually use it for I basically used it for like the my crease color and it blended my crease color so so good it's so soft and and fluffy it's just a basic fluffy eyeshadow blending brush and again very sleek packaging I just think they're so presentable and they look really expensive but they're really not and yeah it, the brush is super super soft and it did a great job at blending my eyeshadow now the second brush that I used is actually called an eyeshadow brush so it just says eyeshadow brush and what I use this is basically a more it's a, it, I would call this a flat shader brush and what I use this for is to basically pack my shadow colour on my mobile lid and again it did a great job. These brushes actually pick up the shadow really really well. I'm guessing these are synth synthetic brushes. I'm not too sure, it doesn't really say anywhere. Yeah, 
yeah, I just really like this brush. It did a great job at like packing that shadow on my lid. So the third eyeshadow brush that I use is also called an eyeshadow brush on the box. And what I use this for is just to highlight my inner corner. And it's basically a more firmer pointed blending brush, but it has it's not very like fluffy, it's quite dense to be honest. And I just thought it'd be great to like blend my inner highlight in and it did a great job at doing that. I mean it's not my favourite brush but it would be a good it would be good to like use for like blending your inner corner or if you want to do like a cut crease that would be great for that as well also just to like pack on shadow on your lower lash line it would be good for that as well now the fourth brush that I used is a more angled thin brush and it's actually called an eyebrow brush on the packaging on well on the box and I just use this with my NYX Tame and Frame brow pomade and I just fixed my brow. My brows were already filled in but I just kind of added more products on the outer corner just to define them a bit more and the reason why I really like this brush is because the angled brush is so firm, well it's kind of firm and it's very thin so it's just great for being so precise and I really like the fact that it's thin, it's not like a chunky angled brush, it's just a thin one and it did a great job for like doing my brows. You can also use this for eyeliner if you want to. So this, this one is one of my favourite brushes. So now onto the face brushes. I actually blended my foundation with this brush right here. I can't, I'll show you close up. And this brush is called a blush brush, which I actually, I was actually going to use it for my, my blush because it's kind of like a small fluffy brush. But I actually used it to blend my foundation in and it did a really good job at doing that. Like it's so easy because it's so fluffy. Um, it did a great job at blending my foundation in but again you can use it for like contouring you can use it to set your concealer in you can use it to I don't know cream contour and like it says for your blusher you can just use this for anything really but I really liked it for my foundation to be honest and again it's super super soft and I really love the like the the how the brush looks and everything so really like this one. The next brush that I use is not really my favourite brush to be honest because I didn't really know what to do with it um, but what I did is blended my concealer with uh, it and I didn't really find that it was great to blend my concealer in because it kind of like it wasn't really easy to get really up close to my lash line because it's so chunky but you could use this brush to um, kind of contour cream contour I would say but it's not really my favourite. This brush is called a angled foundation brush apply with foundation products. I wouldn't really apply this with my foundation to be honest. Not too sure about this one. So the next brush that I use, which is kind of like a cool one, it's another favourite of mine, it's called uh, a contour brush and apply with powder products which I did. Um, I kind of like contoured and bronzed with it and it blends really really nicely. It's kind of like a fluffy flat contour brush. You can say it's kind of similar to the Real Techniques contour brush, the Bold Metals one, but it's not as firm. Like this one's fluffier than that one I would say. And yeah, I really like this one. So now the next brush that I used is actually called the powder brush, but I used it to kind of blend my um, not blend, kind of set my concealer in and then when I was done with that I just went in with more bronzer with my NYX matte bronzer in deep I kind of bronzed my face a bit more and I love this brush to bronze up my face it's so amazing, like this is my most favourite brush out of the whole set seriously it's so soft and fluffy and it just looks like a really expensive brush but it really isn't so this is my definitely my favorite brush it did a great job at blending my uh, bronzer I would say it's too big to set your under eye so again another great brush in this set doesn't shed that much it's super super soft and I just really love this one and then for the final brush I used um this one which is called a eyeliner brush which I would not use this for an eyeliner but I use it to kind of like apply my liquid lipsticks with. and it did a great job it's really firm so it's really nice to outline your lips. You can also use this to kind of like shape your brow with concealer which I think this would be really good for too and that's all I would use that for to be honest and again I think it was really great for my lips and I think it will also be great for the eyebrow bit as well so another great brush. 
So overall, this brush set is such a great one. I, in my opinion, super affordable. Packaging is great. The brushes are so soft. There's only one that I don't really like, to be honest, but which is what, which was this one, like the flat, weird one. There's only one out of nine brushes, to be honest. So I would give this I uh, brush set like a nine out of ten. Um, it's just a really good brush set for only seventeen pounds. I would, if I saw this on like Amazon.co.uk, I would have bought it straight away without even getting them sent to me because they seem like so such good brushes like the barrel so nice the packaging I just really like them so if you're interested in getting these check them out in the info box I'll leave links to them if you would like I think they're such a bargain to be honest but if you're kind of hesitant to buy from Wish don't worry my mum buys from Wish all the time um I think they come from China or something but I don't really care they're affordable they work just as good as expensive makeup brushes and yeah so give them a go if you haven't I know some people won't be open to like cheap brushes but they actually work really well like I did my makeup with these brushes and they did such a good job so so that's the end of this video guys I really hope that you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up if you did and comment below if you want me to do more cheap brushes reviews or kind of like similar videos i don't know um and yeah thank you so much for watching i love you guys all so much and i'll see you next time bye